Here we have a couple of problems about finding angles of elevation or angles of uh, depression. So uh, in the first case, we have a ramp that goes up to a platform, and we want to know how much that ramp is elevated off the ground. What's this angle in here? That's the angle of elevation, how much it's been, this ramp has been raised up from being flat on the ground. In this other situation, we have a lighthouse, uh, and the person in the lighthouse is looking down at a ship. And what's the angle at which they have to look down? That's our angle of depression right there. Luckily, in both these cases, we have nice diagrams. So this should be pretty easy to solve with a, a little bit of uh, trigonometry. Let's read the first one. It says, a ramp 26 feet long rises to a platform that is 19 feet off the ground. Find x, the angle of elevation, and round your answer to the nearest tenth of a degree. So we need to use a trig function, and we actually, since we're finding an angle, we need to use an inverse trig function. But we need first to know which function we're using. So from the perspective of this angle x, what are the sides we have? Well, we have the opposite side, that's 19, and we have the hypotenuse. So opposite over hypotenuse, that is the sine function. So when I write an equation here, I'm going to write the sine of x equals the opposite, and that's 19, over the hypotenuse of 26. Now, to calculate this, I'm going to use the inverse sine. First, I'm going to divide 19 by 26 and then take the inverse sine. So let me show you how that works. 19 divided by 26, and I'll hit equals. And then on this calculator, I need to find the inverse button. Where is that one? Oh, it's this arrow. Uh, so if I push in the inverse button, then you see the sine with a little negative 1 up there. That means the inverse sine. So I'll click on that. And I get 46.95. Let's see, we're supposed to do this to a nearest tenth. So that would be 47.0. So this angle is 47.0 degrees. All right, let's try this angle of depression problem. Again, the first thing we need to do is figure out which trig function. So from the perspective of x, what sides do we have? Well, we have the opposite way over here. And then this one is not the hypotenuse, it's the adjacent. So the opposite over the adjacent, that's the tangent function. So I'm going to write the tan of x equals the opposite, which is 161, over the adjacent, which is 842. And we'll do something similar on the calculator. So 161 divided by 842. And then I've still got the inverse functions up here. I can see that it's got that little negative one there. So the inverse tangent, 10.8 to, to the nearest tenth. So this angle is 10.8 degrees. So that's a little bit of work with uh, using trig to find problems with uh, angles of elevation or angles of depression.